create a movie poster, which Adobe calls The Curse of Frankenstein. It's under Advanced Compositing Lesson 9. So to begin with, we're going to open eight files in a folder in Lesson 9 called Monster Makeup. Those eight files, they would like us to open in Adobe Bridge, but we're not using that in the class, so I'm going to do it the hard way. So just follow along. They're all Photoshop documents, so they will all open in Photoshop. And you can see from the tabs at the top of the screen that all of these are now opened. Each file is opened in a tab. So what I'm going to do is arrange them vertically. Then I'm going to the Franken file. I'm going to rename layer 1 Franken. That's the base layer here. And I'm going to import the layers from each of the other files into Franken, which will be the bottom layer, Franken. So let's start all the way on the left with the green skin texture. Making that active, we get the layer for that file. And I'm just going to drag that into Franken and let go. And one at a time, drag the layers into Franken file, and then close the layer, rather close the file, and just proceed in a line. So we will have all eight files in layers in one file called Franken. This is the enhanced green forehead. Drag it over to Franken. Close the file here. And we have bolts, which is the last file to open and drag. So now <clears throat> I will highlight and select all of the layers, but not the bottom layer, not Franken, which is the background layer, basically. I'll use the Move tool to drag these over. And I'm going to scale them back to at least 50% of what their size is so that they fit the subject. So all of the layers are selected, so if we do a transform, scale, and now we link at the top the scale so that height and width are linked together. We can start reducing to 50 percent, and you'll get the percentage of reduction in the top. So there's 50 percent. Let's drag it up to cover his face. It's probably a little too large. I'm going to go down to about 45 percent. And I'll accept the transformation. Now let's blank all of the layers. And we'll deselect them. I know that hair belongs at the top because that's what's on top in terms of the makeup. 
but <clears throat> we can start moving green skin texture over to the face and match up the eyes looks a little large so let's scale it down by transforming it I think that's a pretty good match right there Now let's go to the nose stitches and what mistake did I make? Didn't highlight the layer, I was selected. So let's move the nose stitches over. I'll scale that down a little bit. A little better fit, except that. Let's go to the green neck stitches and select that layer, make them visible. Put those down here. It's also a little large, so we'll transform that. That's a better fit. The green ear staples. Mm, not too bad. Enhanced green forehead. Looks a little large to me. Can probably bring that down too. And now for the hair. Now let's do the bolts. That does need to be scaled. And here I'm going to link them again at the top. But I just need to bring them in. Accept it. Move him down to his neck. And let's do the hair last. That's definitely too large. Okay, and that's our monster at this point. We still have the um, green ear staples out of place, so we'll move those over. The rest of it looks pretty good. We're going to work on the eyes now, <clears throat> all of the layers. We'll just flatten everything. Now go into the liquify filter. We're going to work on the eyes, make them a little more menacing. So we'll go into the uh, forward warp tool. We'll give it a size of 150 and a pressure of 75. 
Now over the right eye, we can bring that down and then back up and do the same with the left eye. Looks a little more aggressive. Alright, that'll do it for part one. Let's accept this transformation.